After months of wanting to leave Accra, I finally got to explore the Volta region with my friend Rita. She's the big boss of Adinkra Expo. If you've not heard of Adinkra Expo, go onto their website right now and buy some beautiful African beads from her. Anyway, her last week in Ghana, we decided I wanted to go out of Accra and we settled on the Volta region because honestly, it's the most beautiful region in Ghana. Now, a big part of traveling in Ghana is enjoying the, the, the street food. There are so many food vendors in the different towns that you will meet and i got to try our local cheese for the first time ever so i just had my first wagashi it's not bad it's actually quite nice it's not wagashi where does it come from <laughs> we're just gonna tell us what wagashi is and where it comes from it's cheese cheese, cheese. where does it come from cow <laughs> after about a couple of hours honestly i was not counting the hours because i was enjoying the ride and the good music we were playing some good high life music but after a while i just realized that we had made our way to Sagakope, and it is a beautiful town and as soon as you get to the bridge you see the beautiful water you see women selling um fish actually right from that water so you can buy fresh fish right there we are leaving Sokpo to Sogakofe and can you see the entrance to Sogakofe it's so beautiful not our destination yet but I already feel so at peace we are now officially in Anyanui. Uh, we're going to stop and have our breakfast because we've not had anything to eat. So we're going to go on and see what we can get from the food vendors of Anyanui. We are going to get coconut. coconut. Coconut water is actually the most popular fruit in Ghana. It's in season all year round and there's no corner of the country you'd visit that you won't get access to fresh coconut. I love it because it's affordable. In the Greater Accra region, you get coconut for anywhere from two CDs to three CDs, which is still less than 30 cents, give or take. In the Volta region, coconut goes for two CDs and it's fresh off the tree, as you can clearly see here. So it's good for you. I'm not going to bore you with the nutritional benefits because you can Google it. But one interesting thing I love about this fruit is that I'm lactose intolerant. So for 30 cents, I get to enjoy the drink and I get to also scoop the meat home to use as a substitute for milk we're gonna buy well i'm gonna buy roasted corn <laughs> we that's too early for her so <laughs> she's still enjoying her we are gonna try a snack that we discovered in the Volta region as we were waiting for our corn to be ready we noticed that a lot of the young vendors actually had something that looked like our version of donut which is buffalo but the interesting thing was it wasn't made out of flour so we asked them what is this and then they told us that it's called johnny kaklo it's actually made out of corn um a bit of pepper sugar and a tint of flour just to bind it all together are you ready to try your jolly kaklo all right let's go Zooming in, <laughs> zooming out. How does it taste? I think I've had it before. Really? Somewhere in life. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's nice. Mm. Do you taste the before. pepper? Mm -hmm. And the sugar? Mm -hmm. It's sweet, but it has a spicy kick at the end. Mm. And it's nice and crunchy. Wow. It kind of looks like a bofa, but yeah, you can tell yeah. it has like corn flour in it. Yeah. Ah, I think it's like. I've had it before. They it's like the one they said in Accra. Shape. Yeah. But it's, it's, it doesn't have sh uh, pepper. It doesn't have pepper and the shape is different. Yeah. yeah. So our breakfast is made with less than $1. <laughs> Rita got her coconut water and her oh, corn snack. After our breakfast, we were just about 30 minutes away from our destination, which is the Chills Resort in Anyanui. I'll tell you all about that experience in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be updated on the next adventure that I'll go on.